nicely. Paul was putting, amen, the best of the best, you might say. And when Paul, amen, got to a place where he thought he was somebody, God met him on a road, amen, leading into the city of Damascus. And God revealed himself to Paul and changed his name to Saul. God's about to give somebody a name change. Hallelujah. When he changed his name, amen, circumstances followed him. He was blinded because God, amen, did not want Paul to think now that you have had an experience with me. You can stay the same. God is about to change circumstances. God blinded him when he went in at the city. To the city he met a man that prayed for him. And the blind stare fell off his eyes and he didn't see it yet. Paul began to change his way of life to do what God called him to do. And now we see Paul, amen, getting an unction about him. And I believe at this time he's sitting in a Roman jail, being in the upper crust of society, now he's in jail. Being at a place where he can travel with the best of the best, now he's in jail. Being at the place where he wore the best clothes and represented, amen, the highest, amen, religious leaders in society. Now he's in jail. Glory, hallelujah. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying I'm a CEO of Bank of America. Now I'm in jail. I go to the peninsula, amen, and I pull up in my own driveway by pushing a little button and pulling in a three-car garage. Amen. Good God Almighty. I'm wearing thousand dollar shoes. Amen. And five thousand dollar suits. My watch costs two thousand dollars. But now I'm sitting in jail. Do you not know that people in our experience in this thing right now? The man that just, amen, was celebrated, amen, as one of the best coaches in college. He's now sitting in jail. Oh, and have mercy. The president, one of the presidents right here, man, they're trying to they teach him. They're trying to get him. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. But Paul was not in jail for something that he'd done wrong. Paul was in jail for something that he did right. I can't keep no help with that. Yes, now that he's sitting in jail, knowing what God called him to do, he couldn't get out and go to the people no more, so he started writing letters. One of the churches that he wrote to, because he couldn't see them no more, was, amen, the church of Philippi. The church of Philippi was a church that Paul visited. When he visited them, he taught them the word of God. He taught them the love and the graces of God to the point that wherever Paul went, they would send money to take care of Paul's hotel. Y'all steaks to eat, amen. Make sure that when he traveled, amen, he traveled in the nicest cars and he had some nice clothes, amen. Wherever he went, make sure he had protection, hallelujah. They sent money to help Paul. Paul said, amen, hallelujah. I wish all churches could be like the Philippi church. But now we see, hallelujah, Paul said in jail, writing unto him, glory to him, about 64 AD. It was that talking about the joy of Christian grace and the experiences that all of life and death. He began to write unto them. One of the chapters that he wrote, uh, Philippians chapter 3, about verse 13, he said, Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. This is one thing I'm going to try to do with everything I know how. Getting those things which are behind me. And I'm going to try to reach forth to the things which are before me. He said, I'm going to press the Lord and mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Paul began to write this to the Philippian church. He said, Amen, what I'm going to do, hallelujah, as I write unto you, I remember when everything was alright. And I, hallelujah, frequently. 